Okay, today in this video, I wanna share a video with you that has easily saved my butt numerous amounts of times and is probably the best peace of mind tool that I've ever used. It's called happysoup.io. So kind of a different name that I don't think really represents what it does, um, but the little story behind it and how I found it and what it's all about is when you are looking inside of your Salesforce instance, uh, you'll notice that maybe a year or two years ago now, if we're on something like the opportunity, and you're looking at fields. Well, if I click a custom field, anything that has dash dash C is a custom field, as you know, I can click on that field. So I hit contribution level, and there's this button that was added, like I said, a year, maybe two years ago now. And when I click this button, I can see where this field is being used. So it gives you what's called impact analysis. So in other words, if I wanted to get rid of contribution level as a field on the opportunity, this is where that field is currently being used. So it helps me understand, okay, is this a big deal if I delete this field? Is it a big deal if we get rid of it? If we do wanna get rid of it and there is a lot of involvement, what do we have to do? What kind of steps are in place that we need to take to make that happen? So uh, it gives you a really good understanding of that impact that's going to happen if you mess with this field in general. So in this case, right, it's really just used on my layouts. I don't see it in any automation. So it'd be probably pretty easy for me to get rid of this and not too big of a deal if I wanted to. So that's what's really cool about that button. However, if you go back to the opportunity and we look for something that is not a custom field. So let's look for stage, that's an easy one. And I click on stage name, that button is not here. And so this is actually how I found the, the tool that we're gonna talk about, Happy Soup is I was doing this one time, I was working in an org, and we needed to know where a standard field was used and how it was involved. Now there's other tools out there that do a really great job of doing this, um, but they're all something that you gotta pay for. Um, some of them with kind of a hefty price. And they do a great job, but in our instance, it was like a couple fields, the company I was working for did not wanna pay for something. And so Happy Soup is awesome because it's 100% free. You just log in with your Salesforce credentials and it pulls the data in. Um, so that's how I came across it. And if you look at that, that's what this tool is over here. So it had me log in. And once you log in, there's some other things up here that you can do with this tool. But the one I use is this impact analysis. And there's even more things under here that you can look for, right? Flows, and if I move my face here, there's all kinds of stuff, email alerts, email templates. So you have all these different things you can look for. And the case we're talking about, the one that I ran into when I first found this was standard fields. So I hit standard fields, that loads, and if I wanna look for that stage name again, here it is. I can click this, whoops. And I hit where is this used, just like that custom one. This is going to run for me, and then it's going to pull that same type of report uh, to say if it was used anywhere that's, uh, that makes an impact or not. Looks like in our case here, um, I don't really have it used anywhere, so it's not too big of a deal. If I had this stage name tied up in a bunch of other things, um, you could easily see all that pull in. So really nice kind of way to skirt around that. Um, the other tool, if you do wanna pay for something that I'll probably do another video on, is called elements.cloud. That one is amazing. Um, it is a paid product though, and it does all the same stuff we're talking about, a bunch of impact analysis. So if you are trying to use this tool or you came across this video and you're like, hey, kinda need this thing to do a little bit more, check out elements.cloud. Um, otherwise, really awesome resource. Hope you found this one useful.